Hello, everyone, and welcome to 10 Minutes to a Better Building, the podcast from Boland, the building experts. We are thrilled you've joined us for another episode of the show. Today, we're talking about Smart Desk. What is Smart Desk? Well, we're about to tell you here on the podcast. And joining me today to give you all the expertise and the knowledge behind what Smart Desk is and how it is beneficial is Ray Embley. He's the remote building automation specialist at Boland. Ray, welcome to the show. Thanks for joining me. Hi, Tyler. Thanks for having me. Absolutely, absolutely. So, Ray, I know that you have been involved intimately with uh, with Smart Desk since its inception. Uh, so, just uh, start off. Tell us what is Smart Desk. Well, Bowling came up with the Smart Desk about three and a half years ago, and it's it's really taken off since then. And what it is is it's it's a remote connection that we make to customer sites via BAS, and that's a building automation system. So they have a problem, they give us a call, we'll remote into their system, try to figure out the issues and repair it remotely for them. Uh, It's all done while they're on on the phone most of the time. Uh, The best part about it is we can usually do it in less than a half hour. So compared to rolling out a truck, which could take hours, it's a quick, easy way to get the, the buildings back up and running for our customers. It works great. Absolutely, no. You could you could see the benefits and how numerous they can be from that. But from your perspective, since you've seen this firsthand so many times, what sorts of benefits does this provide, and what sorts of things does this help customers with? Well, I, I can kind of give you an example. We we had a customer the other day that called, and it was in the morning. He called and he said, "Ray, we had a power outage last night," and he said, "My building's down." He said, "I can't get my rooftop to go occupied." So I remoted in the system. We took a quick look at it and sure enough, his rooftop unit that controls his building was unoccupied. So it was starting to heat up. It was a pretty warm morning. So we looked at the schedules, which actually controls the rooftop unit. And it was trying to bring the unit on, although it wasn't. So I I dove into it a little deeper And what we found was this unit had a smoke sensor attached to it. And when they had the power failure, the smoke sensor didn't reset. So it was keeping the system off because it didn't, it was thinking there was smoke in the building. It didn't want to blow it throughout the building. So it was holding the system off. So to make a long story short, I kind of walked the customer through how to get up the roof, push the reset button for the smoke sensor and We had him back up and running in about 20 minutes, so he was really happy. (laughs) I can imagine, and and, and I think what that goes to show is um, how this can help reduce downtime, right? And and also reduce the cost of sending out a truck. So you were able to fix things remotely quickly, which reduced downtime, also all without having to send anybody else out there, which uh, saves costs, right? And so those are a couple of different wins that, that customers can experience when using SmartDesk. Yes, it is, Tyler. Now, we we can't always repair everything remotely. I mean, some some things we just can't do without having our boots on the ground, as they would say. But the good thing about that is, is when we have to roll out a truck and get a tech on site, I actually relay all the information I find by remoting into the tech. So when he's going to the job, I mean, he may know exactly what room, what floor, what piece of equipment it is. I mean, I sometimes can narrow it down to a bad part so the tech can actually pick up a part before he even goes to the job. This can save a tremendous amount of time, get get the building up quick. Absolutely, and I think that, that uh, that's something that, that, that customers will certainly find beneficial and, uh, and something that, that can, can prove um, to be incredibly helpful uh, over the course of time. So, Ray, talk to me a little bit more about who is able to use SmartDesk. Okay, well, the first, the first thing we need to have is a remote connection. So, most of our clients do have remote connections. We connect via the internet. Uh, in certain circumstances, we can use cell routers if we have to. But with that said, uh, you want to have a, a, a connection, like I say. Once we have that connection established, if you have a connected service agreement, you actually have smart desk included. So that gives you up to a half hour a day that you can use the smart desk. 
Uh, if you don't have a connected service agreement, you can you can still use the smart desk, but it'll be at a, at a fee. So our our customers that have a connection can use the smart desk. So Ray, how have you seen customers utilizing this, and maybe how have you seen usage grow in the three plus years that Bullent has had smart desk? What sorts of trajectory have you seen there? Oh, it's it's grown really quick. Uh, right now, we have almost 500 connected sites, and the smart desk is averaging about a 75% success rate as far as repairing it remotely. So there's a good chance if you call in, you know, we can help you remotely. That's incredible. And what hours can people call in? What 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 sorts of things um, can you tell us about about hours of operation and things like that? Uh, our hours are seven thirty to five weekdays, uh, not holidays. So, just normal business hours. So, if it's a normal business hour, someone can call into to Smart Desk and and you can help them uh, solve their problems seventy five percent of the time remotely. Yeah, that's that's pretty good, I think. <laughs> I would I would agree I, I would agree Ray I, I think that's that's a pretty incredible hit rate and, and a really good um, opportunity for for people to uh, like I said increase efficiency a little bit by just being able to make a phone call and talking to you and, and talking to other people there at Bolin to help them with those issues um, and help them solve them so quickly I think is a, is a really powerful testament to what Bolin is able to do and how you're you're always seeking to to make things easier for the customer and I think that that's I think that's an excellent way to put things. How can people get in touch with Bulland and, and learn more about Smart Desk if they're interested in, in potentially utilizing this? Uh, they can always call the Bulland uh, service office and just ask for the Smart Desk. And that's the easiest way to get connected. But we also have an email address. It's smart.desk at bowland.com. And that's actually monitored by several employees. So there's always someone there waiting to assist. So either way, it works. It's quick and it's convenient. Just like uh, just like Smart Desk, obviously. Smart Desk, great way for customers to get their issues resolved quickly and conveniently uh, without having to roll out a truck 75% of the time, which is, uh, which is pretty incredible. So, Ray, thank you again so much for joining us today here and talking about Smart Desk. Is there anything uh, that you want to say in closing that, that you could leave our audience with today here about Smart Desk? Uh, just that the Smart Desk is, is a way for customers to get their issues resolved quickly and conveniently. And like Bolin says, we make buildings better. So that's what we try to do at the Smart Desk. We make the building better. <laughs> Absolutely. Having the building up and running and, uh, and being able to do it remotely uh, so often, I think, uh, certainly makes buildings better. And so, Ray Embley, uh, Remote Building Automation Specialist at Bolin. Ray, thank you so much again for joining me here on the podcast and sharing a little bit more about Smart Desk. No problem. Thank you, Tyler. Appreciate being on. Absolutely. We loved having you, Ray. And, uh, and everyone, thank you for tuning into this episode of 10 Minutes to a Better Building. And thanks again to our guest, Ray Embley, here for joining us today. Remember, if you want to reach out and learn more about Smart Desk, that's smart.desk at boland.com. Uh, there you can get more information on Smart Desk and uh, everything that, uh, that it can provide. And, uh, and everyone, stay tuned for more episodes of the podcast. We'll have those for you very shortly. But we have a ton of previous episodes. And so go back and check out some of those for a lot of topics uh, on, on HVAC, on, uh, on indoor air quality, indoor environment quality. So many different uh, episodes that we already have of the podcast. So make sure to go check those out. You can find them on Apple Podcasts or Spotify or on Boland's website as well. And stay tuned. We'll be back soon with more episodes. But until then, I've been your host today, Tyler Kern. Thanks for joining us.